No, placement targeting is not dead. If you want to run YouTube ads and target specific channels and videos, it is still possible. Google has just buried it a little bit and made it a little harder for us to use, but it is still there and you can do it. Hey, I'm Jason, faith-based entrepreneur and marketing geek. Timestamps below, along with some other helpful links and resources, including a link to our YouTube ads playbook to help you with the research process, as well as a simple 90 second script to make sure people actually watch your YouTube ads and take action. Now, before we get into placements and how to do the research and how to set it up inside of a campaign, let's quickly go through how you can actually get that option in the first place because Google's being really finicky about it. So inside of the Google Ads interface, when you go to click the blue plus button to create a new campaign, you're going to select without goals or guidance, video, and then at the top here, you're going to leave it at get views or in your account, it might say custom video campaign. You know, Google's always changing stuff on us. And this way, when you click on continue, you'll actually be able to use your, you'll actually be able to use placement targeting. And that's the only way you're gonna have that option when you are setting up your campaigns. If you use any of the other campaign goals, placement, placement targeting as well as keyword targeting is not gonna show up. All right, now what makes placement so special compared to all the other targeting options we have available to us is this is about as detailed as we can be when we say, hey Google, only show our videos or our ads on the specific video or next to this specific video or with his specific channel's content. And it is a tremendous amount of targeting power that comes with a pretty big price tag and cost as well. More on that in a little bit though. First, if you want to use placement targeting, I don't recommend using it with in-stream ads. Yes, in-stream ads are perfect for driving traffic off of YouTube, but for whatever reason, we've found that a lot of the campaigns we set up when we try and use placement targeting with an in-stream ad, they just don't run. Now, according to Google, they should run, but they just don't. And we've had some clients where we got a couple to work and we've had other clients where we have upped the budget to just hundreds of dollars a day. And we're like, we will pay $5 a view if you show our video. And Google just still sits back and says, no, we're not going to. So as a general rule of thumb with placements, I like using them for in feed, not necessarily in stream. Should you test it? Of course, but just don't be shocked or think you did something wrong when it doesn't work with your skippable in stream ads. So with that little asterisk out of the way, let's go ahead and dive into the options we have available to us. So we can target specific channels. We can target specific videos. Then Google has this new option where they've essentially grouped types of videos for us by country, which is really cool. And then of course, we could also target apps and websites. Now I'm going to X off videos and I'm gonna X off uh, sites and apps because we're running on YouTube, so sites and apps doesn't really help us. And videos for the most part, unless something's getting thousands upon thousands of views per day, the video just doesn't have enough uh, of an audience size for us to target or like I mentioned earlier, there's a price to pay. You're gonna pay a lot of money to just show up on that one video. And chances are your conversion rates or the interaction rates you get from paying that premium is not going to cover the cost. Where you find out it's just actually more cost effective to target the entire channel or target this entire niche than try and target that one specific video you think every single one of your customers is watching because it's just gonna be really, really expensive. Okay, well, note to self, check the memory card before you hit record because it might almost be out of space. So let's jump back in We're talking about the channel targeting and of course the lineups. So first, when it comes to channel targeting, we're going to have four different options here. Really just three, but four because I get questions about it. So first, we're going to have a million plus bracket. Then we're going to have a 500k plus bracket, 500 to a million. And then we're going to have the micro, which is going to be 100,000 subs to 500,000 subs, which humbly I would say this channel falls in that micro category by just 20,000 subs. And then we're going to have the majority of the rest of the channels that uh, you most likely come across that are under 100,000. And so there are a couple of reasons we want to do this. First, we want to get a sense of which types of channel targeting is going to work. Do we want to be really broad in terms of channels that our entire niche, our entire industry is looking at? Do we want to be a little more focused with niche style channels? 
Or can we be really focused to go like zero in micro? I'll go through an example for the entrepreneurship slash marketing niche so you can see what I mean. And then of course we have the rest and these are going to become your campaigns. So you're going to want about five channels per for each. You can have more, but five is plenty. Now, when it comes to how on earth do you find out what channels you should be putting here? Well, it's really simple. You just head over to YouTube and search for some tutorials on whatever it is that you're promoting. So let's say I'm doing Facebook ads. So in one tab here, I have face, I just typed in Facebook ads. And then in the other tab, I typed in Facebook ads tutorial. And then I look at the channels that pop up and I'd go ahead and start clicking through them to see if they are about Facebook advertising, if they're about marketing, or they just happen to do a one-off video, right? So you do wanna make sure that you don't just add all these channels in. You wanted to go through and click and make sure that each one of these channels that you're looking at didn't just make a one-off video, right? That they're actually about your niche or subject because every once in a while that happens. Like for example, um, this channel, Daryl Wilson, he has a lot of tutorials about a lot of different things. So even though he has a Facebook ads tutorial, I wouldn't want to include his channel because he has so much content that's not related versus, uh, let's see, uh, Ben Heath. I mean, I think his is all about Google and, and Facebook ads. So that would be perfect. And scrolling down here, um, this guy, he has a couple, but there's a lot of videos that are not related to my audience, right? They talk about things that aren't related to uh, related to business owners. So you'd wanna just go through, click through these different channels. HubSpot, I know I would, I would definitely try targeting. So that's all there is to it to channel targeting is just making sure that does that channel, for the most part, make content that your ideal customer would actually be interested in. And then of course I'd go ahead and start grouping them together. So as an example, if I was doing this, promoting some sort of Facebook ad service or course, my really broad targeting would be entrepreneurs that everyone knows, like Gary V, Cardone, Lopez, uh, Hermosi, right? And so this would just be, hey, am I going to get the people I need by targeting these really large channels? And then once I have these broad channels, I'm gonna go a little more specific, targeting channels like Neil Patel or Russell Brunson. Not to say that they're small influencers by any means, or these other channels are tiny, it's just that they're more focused on the style of content in terms of the broader content of marketing versus the broader content of entrepreneurship. So hopefully that makes sense. And then if I was to go even smaller, then I would start targeting channels like Loves Data, Measure School, Miles Beckler. And so these channels are, and Surfside PPC, that are very specific towards creating advertising for the types of customers that I would be interested in. And then of course I could add, include smaller channels as well. And we're just going to give maybe 250, five bucks a day to each one of these campaigns and see what happens, right? Because you never really know. Uh, you might find that the 500K channel you know, range does really well, while the million plus channel range, you get a lot of views really cheap, but then nobody takes action, right? And then you might find, normally what I find is those smaller audiences, if it's less than 500K, like a channel like this one, you just wind up paying a lot of money per view because there's just not much ad space. And so there's this balance of being big enough where you're not overpaying, but not being so big where you get a bunch of people who just aren't really relevant, right? And so that does it for channel targeting and that's all you need to do when it comes to figuring out what channels to target. Now, when it comes to lineups, you Google, I should say Google and YouTube have essentially created a library of content types. And so when you're in the Google ads interface and you're setting up your campaign, they have a lot of different topics and subjects. And so you can go ahead and test them. Personally, I haven't used them. I'm still set on using in-market custom intent and uh, channel targeting like we just talked about. But hey, placements are always something to test and maybe these new lineups that Google has for us actually wind up working. So thank you so much for watching. Sincerely hope you got some value out of this video. Most importantly, you are good to go with placement targeting. And you can see how simple it is and you know the exact campaign type you need to use in order to test it out. So hit that like button, subscribe for more marketing guides just like this one, grab a copy of that YouTube ads playbook to help you with what to actually put in your ad and your other research. And until then, keep building the business you love.